God says to you today, My beloved child, I see your heart. I know your struggles, your doubts, and your fears. But today, I want to remind you that you are not alone. I have chosen you for a purpose far greater than you can imagine, and even though the road may seem uncertain, know that I am with you every step of the way. You can also donate us super thanks to support our channel. I have given you gifts, strengths, and experiences that no one else has. You were made for this moment. Every challenge you face is not meant to break you, but to strengthen you, to refine you, and to draw you closer to me. The obstacles in your path are not there to defeat you, but to show you how resilient, strong, and capable you truly are with me by your side. Remember, I do not make mistakes. I have placed you exactly where you need to be. You are equipped, you are empowered, and you are loved beyond measure. Do not fear the unknown, for I am already there, paving the way for your success and peace. Lean on me, trust in my plan, and know that I am working everything for your good, even when you cannot see it. There will be moments when you feel like giving up, but it is in those moments that my strength becomes your strength. I will carry you when you are weak. I will fight your battles when you feel weary. All I ask is that you trust me and keep moving forward step by step, day by day. You are never alone. I am your refuge, your fortress, and your guide. I have great plans for you, plans to prosper you and give you hope for the future. Walk in confidence, knowing that I am with you now and always. You are cherished, you are valuable, and your life is a light to the world. Amen. Stay strong, hold on to faith, and know that I am working behind the scenes in ways you cannot yet see. I have already written the victory in your story. Trust in me, for I am the God who never fails. My child, I see your heart longing for answers, for clarity, and for direction. Know this, I am the God of perfect timing. What may seem delayed or uncertain to you is being orchestrated with precision in my divine plan. Every prayer, every tear, and every moment of silence is known to me, and I am working all things for your good, even in the waiting. You can also donate a super thanks to support our channel. Do not be discouraged by the circumstances around you. Though the world may seem chaotic, my peace is yours. I am your anchor in the storm, your safe place in the chaos. Trust in my timing, for I make all things beautiful in their season. The dreams I have placed in your heart are not in vain. They will come to pass, but in my perfect way and time. Remember, I am shaping you in the process. The journey you are on is molding your character, teaching you endurance, and drawing you closer to me. There is no wasted season in your life. Even in your quiet moments of uncertainty, 
I am building you up for what is to come. You are being prepared for a greater glory, a deeper joy, and a fuller life in me. I need you to know that the trials you face are not signs of abandonment, but of my faithfulness. I am allowing you to grow, to strengthen your faith, and to stand firm. When you feel like the weight is too much, remember that I am holding you. I will never give you more than you can bear. And in your weakness, my power is made perfect. You are not defined by your past, your mistakes, or your failures. I have already forgiven you, and I am calling you forward into the newness of life. You are a new creation in me. The old has passed, and the new has come. Walk in the freedom I have given you. There is nothing that can separate you from my love. I want you to release the burdens you've been carrying, the worries, the doubts, the fears. Lay them at my feet. I have not called you to carry these alone. I am your provider, your healer, your protector. I will give you rest for your soul and peace beyond understanding. Trust in me, for I am making a way where there seems to be no way. In this moment, I am inviting you to draw nearer to me. Spend time in my presence, and I will renew your strength. I will give you clarity where there is confusion and hope where there is despair. My spirit is with you, guiding you, comforting you and empowering you for what lies ahead. Child, lift up your head, for your help comes from me. I am your father, your creator, and I will never forsake you. You are precious in my sight, and I take great delight in you. Continue to walk in faith, for your story is not over. The best is yet to come. Rest in my promises, trust in my plan, and know that I am for you. Be still and know that I am God. My beloved child, do not fear the unknown, for I have gone ahead of you. Every step you take is covered by my grace. The path you walk may seem uncertain, but remember, I am your guide. I hold your future in my hands, and I will never lead you astray. You can also donate us super thanks to support our channel. When you face challenges, Know that they are not meant to defeat you, but to deepen your dependence on me. Trials are the refining fires that purify your faith, making you stronger and more steadfast. Do not be afraid of the valleys, for it is in the valleys that I shape you, where you learn to trust me with all your heart. I see the weight you carry, the worries, the stress, the pain. But I am inviting you today to cast all your burdens upon me. I am your refuge, your strength, and your ever-present help in trouble. When you feel overwhelmed, come to me. In my presence, you will find rest. In my arms, you will find peace. I have never left you, and I never will. Do not compare your journey to others. Each of my children has a unique path, and yours is tailored for your growth 
your purpose, and your destiny. Celebrate the victories I have placed in your life, even when they seem small, for every step forward is a testament to my faithfulness. The world may try to define you by its standards, but I have already defined you by mine. You are my child, chosen, beloved, and set apart. Your worth does not come from what you do or what others think of you. Your worth comes from me alone. You are valuable, not because of your accomplishments, but because I have called you by name and claimed you as my own. Let go of the fear of failure. In me there is no failure, only lessons, growth, and transformation. Every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. Every closed door is my way of redirecting you to something better something that aligns with the purpose I have designed specifically for you. You are on a journey of transformation, and I am with you through every twist and turn. Your prayers are not forgotten. Your hopes are not in vain. Keep pressing forward in faith, knowing that my promises are yes and amen. I am the same yesterday today and forever. My faithfulness endures through all generations and it will not fail you. There are blessings ahead that you cannot yet see, but trust that they are on the way. I am positioning you for greater things, preparing the path before you. Stay rooted in me and you will see the fruit of your perseverance. The seeds you have planted in faith will bear a harvest in due time. Be patient, for I am working in the unseen, orchestrating miracles on your behalf. My child, I have given you a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Do not let fear or doubt hold you back from stepping into the fullness of what I have called you to. I have equipped you with everything you need for the journey ahead. Walk in boldness, knowing that I am your strength and your shield. Know that I love you with an everlasting love. Nothing you face can ever separate you from my love. Not the storms of life. Not the trials you endure. Not the mistakes you've made. My love for you is unshakable, immovable, and unconditional. Rest in that love. For it is the foundation upon which you can build your life. You can also donate us super thanks to support our channel. Keep your eyes on me, and I will lead you into the fullness of joy, peace, and purpose. The plans I have for you are good, and they will bring you hope and a future. Hold on to me, for I am holding on to you. Together we will walk this journey and you will see my glory unfold in your life. My child, hear me clearly now. I am not only the God of your past and present, but also the God of your future. I have seen every tear you've cried, every battle you've fought, and every prayer you've whispered in the quiet of your heart. Nothing escapes my notice. Know this, every moment of pain, every moment of confusion, 
is weaving together into something far greater than you can understand right now. When you feel weary and burdened, remember that I am your rest. When you feel lost, remember that I am your way. I know you may not have all the answers, but I am asking you to trust in me, for I am the answer to every question that lingers in your soul. There is nothing too big for me, nothing beyond my reach. You are never out of my sight or beyond my care. Amen. Even in your seasons of waiting, I am working. Even when it seems silent, I am speaking in ways your heart is yet to understand. Trust my timing, for it is perfect. I am aligning everything for your good, and no detail of your life is overlooked. What you see as delay, I see as preparation. What you see as loss, I see as making room for greater blessings. Do not be discouraged by closed doors. I have something far greater than what you have imagined. Every no is making way for a divine yes. I am the God who opens doors no man can shut and closes doors no man can open. Be patient, for I am writing a beautiful story with your life, one that will bring glory to my name and joy to your heart. I have not forgotten the dreams I've placed inside of you. I planted those desires in your heart for a reason, and they will come to pass in my perfect timing. Trust that I know the deepest desires of your heart, and I will fulfill them in ways that will leave you in awe of my goodness. There will be times when the path I lead you on seems difficult, even painful. But know this, I am refining you. Gold is purified by fire, and your faith, your character is being refined in the same way. Trust that this refining process is producing something far more precious in you than you could ever imagine. You are becoming more like me, and that is the greatest gift I can give you. Do not lose heart when things seem impossible, for I am the God of the impossible. What seems like a mountain before you, I can move with a word. What seems like an obstacle too great to overcome, I can remove in an instant. But even when I do not remove the mountain, Know that I am giving you the strength to climb it. And in the climb, you will find that I have never left your side. Remember, my child, that you are my masterpiece. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, created in my image for a purpose only you can fulfill. You are not a mistake, and nothing in your life is accidental. Everything is part of my divine design. I have called you to be a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope to those around you. Even when you feel inadequate or unworthy, know that I have equipped you for this. My strength is made perfect in your weakness, and my grace is sufficient for you. You are not defined by your past mistakes or failures. You are defined by my love and my purpose for you. I am calling you to step out in faith, to walk boldly into the unknown, trusting that I am already there waiting for you. 
You may not have all the answers, but you have me, and that is enough. I will guide you, direct your steps, and give you the wisdom you need for every decision, every challenge, and every opportunity. Know that nothing can separate you from my love. Not fear, not doubt, not the challenges of life. My love is your constant, your foundation, and it will carry you through every season. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and I will lead you into the fullness of life I have promised you. Rise up, my child. Walk in the confidence of who you are in me. You are chosen, you are loved, and you are destined for greatness in my kingdom. Trust that I am working all things together for your good. The best is yet to come. Are you feeling overloaded? You may be trying to control things too much. We do it all the time, sometimes without realizing it. Even when we don't try to, we act subconsciously as if it all depends on us. We have to hold everything together. We have to make it all happen. The greater your need to control things, the more overloaded, stressed, and empty you're going to be in life. You have to learn to give up control when you come to Jesus because you're running on empty. This is the next step of obedience. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew 11, 29, 30 When you get fed up, it's time to give up control. A yoke is not the middle of an egg, but the wooden frame that you put over two animals so they can pull a piece of farm equipment together. When you already feel like you're carrying a heavy load, taking on Jesus' yoke may sound like more of a burden. Why would you want to take on a different yoke and keep pulling? The purpose of a yoke is to lighten the load, not to make a heavier inad. Sharing a yoke means sharing the load you're carrying. When two animals team up together, it makes the load lighter, not type, yes, if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. heavier. When you're not yoked to Jesus, you can easily move at a pace that's too fast and go off in a ditch. But if you're yoked to him, then there's no way he's going to let you outpace yourself. And he's not going to let you go off in a ditch. A yoke makes the load lighter, and it keeps you from getting in trouble. Galatians 5.25 says, Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. You keep in step with God's Spirit by being yoked to Jesus, partnering with Him and letting Him set the pace. Jesus was never in a hurry, and you won't be either when you're connected to Him. That's why I want to encourage you today not to let your feelings distract you from what's true. So, right now, take a moment and let these scriptures increase your faith and give you hope. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. James 4.8 ESV
The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Exodus 33:14, NIV You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. Psalm 16:11, NIV And they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Matthew 1.23, NIV type, Yes, if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family, family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen? God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. Hebrews 13, 5 to 6, NIV. God won't abandon you. He won't forsake you. Patience and Persistence Nothing great is ever accomplished without persistence and patience because in order to be successful, your dreams must translate into work. The people who succeed in life are the people who are willing to do what they don't feel like doing. They are not mastered by their moods. They are mastered by the master, and they establish their goals and plans according to God's will. If you are going to really reach your goals in life, Sometimes you have to delay gratification. You have to do the tough thing instead of the fun thing, the right thing instead of the pleasurable thing. Any goal that's worth achieving is going to have obstacles in the way. You need to have a long-term view. So when difficulties come, you can persevere knowing that you are going to get past it. God's timing is perfect and ours is not. When you find yourself in God's waiting room, just be patient and persistent. A God-given vision will always be fulfilled. For some, a day without fishing is a wasted day. As you watch someone catch fish after fish, you quickly learn that no fish will bite a bare hook. You can't just throw a hook out in the water and expect to catch fish. You have to put bait on the hook, and a good fisherman knows that different fish like different kinds of bait. Just like a fisherman knows how to bait different kinds of fish, Satan knows just how to bait you. He knows your favorite flavors and what gets your attention. He knows exactly where your weak spot is, that unmet emotional need, that empty tank, that deep desire. That's why you've got to think about what you're thinking about. The hook is sin. But the bait is whatever lie Satan wants you to believe. He knows you're vulnerable to ideas like, if you do this, you'll feel better. If, if you do this, it will I be rewarding. If you do this, everything will be okay. Even when you know there's a hook beneath the bait, you may still keep nibbling. Why? Because you buy whatever lie Satan is feeding you. But if you think you can type yes, if you trust God, a super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Keep nibbling without getting hooked. You're just fooling yourself. The idea that you won't get hurt is another one of Satan's lies. One of the most common lies is this. Whenever you're tempted, 
something outside of yourself has tempted you. But here's the truth. The real problem is not external. James 1.14 says, Temptation comes from our own desires which entice us and drag us away. Temptation starts with our inner desires, those vulnerable spots Satan uses for bait. Those desires lead to sinful actions, and those actions lead to death. What you think determines how you feel, and what you feel determines how you act. Don't get in the habit of blaming your circumstances. When you're tempted, you may think you can't help it. You can help it. It starts by changing the way you think. When you're tempted, stop and ask the question, what lie am I believing? Then replace it with God's truth. It will always lead to life. You can't hear God when your mind is crowded with thoughts, worries, fears, and plans. Or if you always have the radio or TV on. And if you constantly have your phone against your ear, when God calls all he gets is a busy signal. All of these distractions are what Jesus was referring to in Luke 8 when he talked about the seed falling in the weeds. Those weeds grew with the seed and strangled it. Now notice that this scenario is a little bit better than the shallow soil because the seed actually sprouts and grows. But the weeds choke it out so it never bears fruit. So many people hear God speak, but as they go on their way, life's worries, riches, and pleasures choke them, so they never mature. If you are always on the go and you can't hear God, you are facing the barrier of busyness. Often we confuse busyness with productivity and they aren't the same thing. If you keep going, 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 but you aren't spiritually growing, 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 you are busy, not productive. Jesus says distractions are like weeds that grow up in your mind and heart, just as weeds grow in a garden. How much effort does it take to grow weeds? None. Weeds are a sign of neglect. When you neglect your time with God, the weeds start to grow in your life. In type, yes, if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Order to overcome the weeds, you must learn to overcome your preoccupied mind. 1 Kings 19.12 says that when God spoke to Elijah, it wasn't in a wind or earthquake or fire. 